This morning we are heading into town to go to the Central Market in Port of Spain. The Central Market in Port of Spain is one of the biggest markets at this end of the island. We've been going there for months now because we've been staying here in the shipyard since March and it's now December. So I want to show you what the market's like and introduce you to some of my favourite vendors. They're just really good, really hardworking people who sell amazing produce. So to get there, we're going to jump on a bus with today 25 other yachties. Last week it was 40, but people are starting to sail away because the hurricane season officially ended yesterday. So yeah, let's head off. Every week, my drivers to the market are Larry and Earl. They've been driving cruises to the market since before I arrived, and I've been working with them to help keep it going by organizing the group. They're a great pair of guys who work long hours driving these taxis for locals and visitors throughout the week. All right, so we're at the Central Market. Um, first, walk we'll through the food court before we get to the meat. So in this market, the first section is the food court and there is lots of vendors who make local food like doubles or curries. And a lot of the cruisers will grab breakfast here because they're really, really good. This section here is where you buy all of your fresh meat and seafood. So I have my favorite prawn guy, beef guy, and chicken lady that we're gonna go and see. I always go and collect my beef first because I actually ordered it from him the week before. But beef is done, so now it's time for prawns. How much prawns do you need? Five and a half again. We ate everything last week. Oh. <laughs> I got to the point where the other guy was sitting there and said, I feel like nothing else will go down but just two left. I just have to eat it. 300, that's good. those guys are catching are amazing because they were telling me last week that usually they fish in the south or in the gulf but for the next two months they're fishing in the north and as a result the prawns they are getting are just massive it's like a family business they've had this store at the market for three generations now they're the fishermen they go out they catch the shrimp and the fish come sell it here so it is so fresh and so good like I won't hesitate to say they are the best prawns I have ever bought and like I'm from Australia I cannot buy this quality of prawn at home. So prawns are done, beef's done, time for the chicken. Now the thing with the chicken is Jessica and Jerry they are the chicken farmers so my chicken was probably running around yesterday and I can tell them what I want at the start and then they'll get it ready and I can collect it on the way out which is so handy. Like I said, all the meat and seafood and stuff is in this section of the market. And then when you go out these doors, you're into fresh fruit and vegetable slices and other stuff. The outside area is packed with vendors selling a huge range of produce, including fruit, vegetables, herbs, spices, honey, and even coconut oil. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
After a few visits, you get to know which vendors tend to have what, and most cruisers find they develop connections with specific people that keep them coming back to their store week after week. The citrus has only just come in this time of year. Earlier in the year when we first got here, it was a lot of mangoes, which were really good. But now it's uh, oranges, grapefruit, and lemons, a lot of those. So it's a nice change. Now is literally one of my favorite vendors in the whole market. She's my egg lady. And she's just the nicest woman. So yeah, if you're ever in Trinidad, definitely go and visit her store. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. How are you? How are you? I'm great. 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 I'm well, the first batch was good because I made it very chocolatey. Ah. Then he tried them and he said not enough alcohol. And now they just taste like rum. You can't even taste anything else. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hey Tish, yeah. lovely pair of coconuts. It's full of water. Right, so the water is inside. Because this one is packed in a good crack this morning or yesterday. Right, I want to chance it because sometimes what happens is that it's starting to run so that the opposite. Yeah. Now the inside will be good because of the no air went in. So the inside will be good, but so we'll yeah, show the chance. Okay, no. this one, okay. Right. I was going to do something, I have no idea. <laughs> Listen to the words. And then I'll get the eggs as well.
In the center of the outside market, there's a large open structure that has a number of stalls inside. On the south side, there's predominantly food stalls, while the north side is mostly clothing. Sometimes this aisle has some more specialty stuff, and they also have really big garlic, which is super easy to peel. Growing up in an Australian city, my grocery shopping experience was very different to this. Rather than connecting to individual vendors, I tended to go to a chain supermarket where there's a huge disconnect from the producers. I find that the Trinidadian Central Market here in Port of Spain has a much stronger sense of community and you feel connected not just to the produce but also the people there who sell it. It takes a simple grocery trip from feeling like a chore to being a weekly experience that I've started to look forward to. on his shoulder and I am absolutely laden down so it's time to head off we've been here just over an hour and um, we'll go back to the yard now and I'll show you everything I bought and let you know how much it costs as well because it is just so affordable shopping here as well as the fact that you get amazing produce and you're supporting local Trinidadian vendors which I think is always a really good thing to do as you travel around We've just got back from the market and what I'm going to do is unpack everything and show you exactly what we bought and how much it cost. Right. You will have to excuse the view right now. Yes, we live on a sailboat, but it is undergoing extensive warranty repairs at the moment and one of the things being done is the window. So we have a lovely view of plastic at the moment. This is what I got this week in terms of fruit, vegetables and eggs. Now there's a few things missing that I would have usually got but I just didn't need them because I had them from last week like chilies, carrots and green beans.
So just having a look at what is here, the eggs, they'll get used to make cakes, bacon and eggs, omelettes, all those things. Why I buy my eggs from that lady in particular is her nephew is running a small egg farm. It's a free range egg, so I just think that the taste is a lot better when you get your eggs from Happy Chickens. The coconuts, the plan is I'm going to use the milk to make a curry and then desiccate the flesh and use that to make rumbles since it's almost Christmas. Dogs don't get chocolate. Dogs don't get chocolate and rum. <laughs> Other ingredients, they're just for what I'm going to make for dinner this week. So I'm going to put all of this away and then show you what I got in terms of meat and seafood. First up, the beef. Now, just out of habit and because I like his product, I buy my beef from the same guy every week, but that does not say anything about the other guys at the market. Their beef is all quite good too. What I do is I actually buy the entire tenderloin piece and then I process it myself into the different cuts that we want out of it. I prefer to do it that way because first of all the tenderloin which we call I fill it in Australia is so tender from here and the other thing is that with all these little extra sinewy bits Rose eats them so she absolutely loves market day. At the Trinidad Central Market get your chicken from Jerry's Chicken that is where Jessica works. I know I mentioned it in the video already but Jessica is just so lovely and as you saw you can tell her what you want at the start and she'll have it ready for you at the end. So this week I wanted three whole chickens. One, two, third. So Jessica's chicken, I just prefer it so much over what's available in some of the local supermarkets. To me it just doesn't taste right and hers is just so fresh. We actually accidentally left some in the fridge once and didn't find it till two weeks later and it was still perfectly fine. I've never had that happen with supermarket chicken. So Jessica's chicken is where it's at. I am so happy about these prawns. Like, the boys tease me about being a foodie, but I just really love that just as a consequence of living on a sailboat, we get to go to all these countries and go to local markets and really get to taste the local cuisine and make the local cuisine. So I love, I love the opportunities that I get to go to markets like this and really get to play with the fresh produce that they have in a country. It makes me happy. So this here is my prawns. Usually we would eat the prawns the day of the market but I think all the boys might want to go to the pub tonight. So which suits me because that means I will steal a few of these and make myself an Italian risotto. But that is what we're talking about for prawns here at the moment. You can see there's no black on it. It's super fresh. I know I don't have the biggest hands but like these are massive. So probably going to do them Thai style and grill them on the barbecue. So that is my walkthrough of the Trinidad Port of Spain Central Market as well as a roundup of how much it cost me to shop there. If you enjoyed it, if you have any questions, hit the like button, leave a comment and I will do my best to answer you.